Here we go, man. East Rutherford. This is episode six of our 250 career here in, well, 252 stroke career here in Monster Energy Supercross, the official video game number three. If you guys haven't seen the first five episodes, go check it out, all right? We have, we've been up to some crazy stuff. Started off doing a 15, was it 15 second head start? And then we went to 20, 25, 30. Now here today we are doing the 30, five second head start challenge every time i win i bump it up by five seconds so i guess that does say something about the previous episodes we have that red plate we are dominating it's time for east rutherford guys if you do enjoy at any point in time smash that thumbs up button for me now i gotta give a shout out to colby g crook all right i asked him to tell me a joke his joke was this why do we tell actors to break a leg drum roll please and the answer is because every play has a cast Dum shout out to the man colby if you guys do have a joke question of the video tell me a joke leave it down below in the comments and maybe i will use it as the start of a video and give you a little shout out let me know a joke in the comments below make my day make me happy make me laugh man have fun with it and let's get in to east rutherford East Rutherford, man, definitely not one of my favorite tracks in the game. I'm probably gonna get schmollywopped here, especially doing the 35 second head start challenge. Like, I don't even know if I stand a chance. You guys know I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him my best shot, man. We ain't, we ain't giving up until the night is over. Hopefully, no LCQs here today. Hopefully, I can go right from qualifying to the heat race to the main event and just avoid the LCQ completely, but I mean, even last episode, having to go to that LCQ and still managing to uh, pick up that win. So even if I have to go to the LCQ, I don't think it's a huge worry as long as I do get in to the main. That is, that's the main goal, man, is getting into the main. So Sabachi, what are you doing, my guy? You are gooning it up. I should try and triple there or somewhere in that section just to save a little bit of time. With that first lap under my belt, I am a second quicker than Cooper Webb here in qualifying. So on the gas, man, we are flying. Oh, man, Johnson getting nasty with it. So there is a decent line I can bust out here, triple up and over that, and then just on off right there. This rhythm, I think I'm just gonna go for the easy line on off there triple and then jump off track and that is definitely the fast line uh yeah just like triple triple through the rest of that section through here i don't even know if it's worth it to go for a triple in case i think i might just hit the double 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 line i have the fastest lap i'm gonna end qualifying there you guys have seen east rutherford a bunch you don't need to see me run goon laps over and over and over again we can jump right into that heat race even with all of that being said i'm still over a second quicker than these guys for qualifying and of course the legends all have the same lap time once again uh milestone fix your game why is it rigged like that <laughs> i get it being somewhat rigged in qualifying you want them to hit good laps and be competitive but maybe don't make it so obvious like that five riders have the exact same lap. It makes me wonder too, like if I came in and did two different events on the same track and did qualifying, would a rider hit the same lap time? So if I had Aaron Plessinger, for example, and I did one qualifying session, would he hit the same lap time in another qualifying session? That's just something I'm wondering and maybe I should put it to the test. The qualifying goon science episode it might happen but it's heat race time gonna give these guys a 10 second head start try and catch up get into the top nine of course qualifying into that main event is key so let's go man into that first corner off to the races hopefully no tough block obstacle courses okay that works you know what that works i will take it easy peasy through there up and over the finish line, we are at the back of the field. Kyle Swanson behind us, and the progress is about to start flowing. So I need to make like 10 passes here to be in... Oh man, I thought that was going to go bad. 
jumping into the back of Pellegrini would have been a nightmare, but managed to uh, get through that corner A-OK, -okay, but I got like 10 passes to go as I destroy A-Ray in order to get up into... Oh, Barsha coming in hot! But I need like another 10 passes here to get up in to a qualifying spot and be A-OK -okay with where I... And Bisheglia, I almost absolutely demolished you, man. These heat races are getting sketchy. Two laps to go, and I'm not even up into a qualifying spot just yet. Chilling in uh, P12 or like 10th now. Yeah, 10th with those two passes. I'm getting Marv behind me. So. I do have a little bit of work here to do with two laps remaining. I think as I pass Tapia here, we will send him and Hill to that LCQ. Actually, Hill still has a spot getting two passes there. There's a little bit of buffer room for me. And this line here, I think, might... Oh, I messed it up a little bit, but if I hit it like that and actually make it smooth, it might actually be the line. Then through here, we can quad... I might be able to get another quad in that rhythm and then quad into the corner like I will be flying and the two-stroke power band is unreal this bike is so much fun it's fast you can absolutely shred on this bike and I've just been having fun with it so hopefully end off the career strong with this episode and then 1986 Anaheim as the finale. On the inside of Chisholm, here we go. That is progress right there. Ferry next on the agenda. So I think I'm coming across the line in P6. Sixth place, qualifying right into that main event. Definitely kind of worrisome because I didn't catch up very much at all. So a 35 second head start. I might be finishing in last. It's time for another action-packed night of Supercross racing. Here we go. I am... I am concerned. I am worried everything in the book right now about this main event because 35 seconds, that is a huge head start. We'll see what goes down. These guys, of course, getting a huge advantage. 9 minutes and 54 seconds on that clock. When it hits 9 minutes and 20 five seconds we're gonna go that is that's a long wait man that is a long wait 29 28 20 7 20 6 20 5 let's go man i am a mile and a half behind these guys oh my goodness is this even is this even safe that was not safe that was not okay at all that's how far behind i am i could have just joined the pack right there in real life and no one probably would have even noticed that I was cheating but uh yeah we got a basically like a whole lap to catch up man holy that is not what I wanted to see 30 seconds from Politelli right now so these first I want to say first like five six laps are just gonna be me riding all alone and that's if I can even make progress happen and catch up to these guys i might just be back here in 20 second the whole entire race which would not be fun <laughs> i want to at least get some points so now in the same spot 21 seconds to paul Atelli. oh my goodness getting sketchy through that section i should really try and actually double this i think it would be faster i'm just man i cannot find a flow here today at the metlife stadium Triple into this corner, 7 minutes 40 seconds on the clock, and a lot of work to do if I don't want to be hit with defeat here in episode number 6, man. It might make for an interesting finale, depending on how this goes. I don't have a huge points lead to work with, I do obviously have the red plate, but I don't have a massive points lead to work with. Especially with the championship coming to an end. You guys know. I want to have that decent points lead. Oh my man, that triple in was mad easy. Alright, let's start hitting that consistently for sure. And I should drift out wider through here and just double this like I said last lap. But I feel like that line actually works as well. 
six minutes left on the clock. I am 37 seconds behind Zach Osborne. 18 seconds behind the first pass I can make. Kyle Chisholm. I am way back here at this point. Obviously not giving up until that race is over. But this, this might just be a smooth sailing race of your boy Gunzig riding around at the back of the field. Which uh, definitely would not be entertaining, would not be enjoyable, but I am running out of time, and running out of time quick in this main. Let's see if I can bust out the quad. I should have choked up and just went for the triple, but tripling into this corner, okay. Let's see if I can bust out this triple. All right, so I'm finding some better lines through that section. Better lines throughout the whole entire East Rutherford track. I think I should definitely at least try to make that jump happen. I don't know if it's worth it, worth the risk, but I need any advantage that I can get right now. And obviously no crashes. If I go down, that is definitely this race over with. Slowly but surely, with three minutes remaining, catching up to the back of the field, I have set myself up for failure in East Rutherford, man. This 35 second head start challenge, obviously, I am up for the challenge, and I love doing videos like this, but I think I have no hope at getting this one done. I think I am just bound to be defeated at East Rutherford. Obviously, clicking through these laps like no tomorrow, little mistake through that section and you would be surprised at how much like a little mistake like that would actually cost you while doing a comeback like this we got two and a half minutes fairy is right here he will be the first pass i can get under my belt and i feel like once i actually start passing these guys like as you guys can see there's a huge group right here that would be crucial to get by so once i start actually making these passes happen I think I should be able to click through a few positions pretty easily, but it's getting up to that point that has taken, I mean, eight minutes of this race so far. So the comeback, the charge is on. Is it doable? I think uh, East Rutherford is one for the books of defeat. Oh man, what am I doing? Another lap spent trailing Tim Ferry. All right, I'm just gonna come to this inside. Get past him just like that, all right. In the 221st. Chisholm next on the list. And we are slowly working towards getting some points to our name for the night. In the battle, in the mix. If I can get past Chisholm here. Oh man, that'd be huge. And I have one lap, oh man, one lap to make anything happen. So I'm in like, what, 18th? 18th place, Webb's back here, so that does give me, I mean, some hope. That's a bonus, right? Webb ain't doing too good. He's in 16th. So I need to get past him, Savachi. There's a group of four right here. Barsha is in the mix, and it would be nice to get past all four of these guys. I don't know if I'll be able to do it, man. I am struggling to gain time on these guys, like absolutely struggling. Little mistake from Marv, or Webb there, not Marv, his teammate. Let's see if I can just hit some smooth lines through here, triple, triple, double into the corner. Man, I'm getting stuck on Webb, hit by Savachi and Barsha, oh my goodness, this is a battle. Now this is a battle if I've ever seen one. On to this last lap. 15th place, not amazing. But it's not terrible either. Hopefully get by Brayton here. I'm just gonna try and outbreak him, carry some more speed into these whoops. Have more speed for that whoop section. He ain't letting me by, man. Oh no. <laughs> Brayton, Brayton, Brayton. Not letting me go easy. And Barsha's back in the mix. Alright, so triple, get this line clean, triple, man, Hill's right there too, if I got past Brayton, 
how I wanted to. Probably could have got Hill as well. Oh, I tried to be aggressive. P15. That's disappointing. Millsaps took the win. Osborne in P2, Langston in P3, and then Stewart in P4. So I definitely let the legends down. I guess Fairy finished 18th, but 15th place, man. I know that seems terrible, but considering that every track is different and we did a 35 second head start challenge, I, I would say I'm okay with that. I will take 15th and how many points? Eight. Eight points. That's better than nothing, right? Of course, I still have a over... I actually have a 25 point lead. So a 25 point lead going into this final round. The only person that could actually tie the championship with me is Osborne. So heading in to 1986 Anaheim and I'm gonna have to watch out for that threat of the man Zacco. Hopefully... Fingers crossed, the 35 second head start challenge goes A-OK -okay here in Anaheim. I will see you guys all in the next video. Just a little sneak peek right here, man. Just a little sneak peek. Peace out.